All right, guys. So you just seen the unboxing of this thing and what you will get. And so here it is put together now. So what we had to do is put the front wheel back on the fender. The Vader comes with handle grips or uh, bar mir mirrors. Bar mirrors already. So that's in there. And we did notice that this particular model, what was it, the Feruza or for yeah. The one that begins with an F, or also can be known as the it's Vader a, too. It's a sub name. It's called the Ice Bear Feruza or whatever it is. Yeah. It's a sub. It's a sub name of it. Or you could think of it as the Ice Bear Vader Two. So what it is already has the mods, some mods done. So it already has the fender delete kit off, and it has an extended swing arm, and pretty much that's about it. And so now to get you the overview, and what you need to do before you start riding this thing, and we can't stress enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, you gotta do it. You have to do this. Yeah, you can't just not do it. You already know, this Hellcat, right here, is literally identical as far as the layout, everything. Yes. So, probably 90% of these parts would fit onto that bike there, and vice versa, other than, like, unique stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just their own type stuff, so. I mean, in, in theory, you could actually swap it all over. Yeah. If you wanted to go through all that work, but why not? For the money you're gonna spend for them, why not just buy one that's already done? Yeah, exactly. But they are interchangeable. For example, say if you can't find something for that, okay, well I get something from this and I'll fit it on there. Same with all the Honda Groms. So that's why it's so nice. And so what's gonna happen today is as we looked on this video, we had a Loctite everything. We're gonna tell you the exact same thing about this here, but we're gonna actually do it and show you. Uh, we did it on that already, but we're actually gonna get a video on there too. So, same concept as that over here, just now we get to well show you a video of it. So, Tom, any other uh, things you want to say here? How about we tell them a refresh or what they need to be done so we can tell them what to do and then yeah. we'll show them then. So, um, what do you want to start out with first? Uh, I don't know. Where do we want to start at? Um, well, first things first, let's start out with the uh, tighten all the bolts. Like, Obviously. Yeah. Basically, go through everything. I'd say you probably tighten all your, all your fork, all your Allen, all your Allen keys right here, on your like basically all your fork clamps. I'd say go through and tighten all them up. Yep, right there. Uh, if you really want to, you could put Loctite on them. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it in case you had to take them back apart. Like for instance, on Adam's bike over here, he had to go through and tighten his, tighten up his uh, stem bearings here because they were a little loose, which, I mean, kind of expected. For yeah. What you get. I mean. Yeah, so again, and you will start riding it and things will start getting loose again. But if you take the time now and like, for example, just mine did the same thing, but we got this thing in today and what happened? This was all loose and flapping around. So we tighten that up. Uh, this was all loose and all tapped and everything. It's all precautions you pretty much got to take, take the initiative to do before problems actually start occurring. Exactly. And you know, again, the price you pay anything for these things, these things are badass machines. But you gotta just do that quick little bit amount of work to just to get that awesome running machine and meet up to the standards of a Grom. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So so instead of giving it a bad rap, do these things and you'll be golding. So yeah. I guess after you tighten all those up and everything that what you wanna do is like I said on the Hellcat, down here you'll see this bolt here. This has two uh yeah, yours has two as well. So yours has two motor mounts here and with the a long uh they go the whole way through the block. They go from one end to the other side. Yeah. So what you want to do, these, his already has lock nuts on it, but as precaution, we'd want to take those off. Let's get a little zoom up in here. We'd take those off, put red Loctite on it, and if you so happen want to get it off, you'll, you'll be able to get them off yeah. then. If but, you can't, if worst case scenario, you just got to add a little bit of heat to it, whether it's a little hand torch or something, just enough to heat that red Loctite up. It'll come right off. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this is what you have to do, but take this off. Red Loctite, put a lock washer on with a lock nut on it, and just for extra precaution, like I did, you can put another jam nut on there too, meaning another lock nut on there. And same thing goes for down here. Now we're gonna do his now because I ended up breaking my old bolt and everything, and I put a whole new one in and all that stuff. But again, do this stuff before you do it, otherwise you will have no problems. Another thing we gotta stress about is your exhaust manifold down here. You can't really see this because it's got its it's got a wind louver on it. Yeah, we'll show you that here. If you look. If you look right down in here, right around Bogan, that right there is your exhast manifold studs. We highly recommend either, that one right there feels like it has lock nuts on it too. 
Yeah, yours does. Mine didn't, yeah. so well, that's we nice. Either way, I recommend taking them off and doing the same things we do with all the engine mount bolts. Put lock washers on it. Red Loctite really won't do anything because it heats up, but definitely a lock washer is the way to do it. Yeah, lock washer, put the lock nut on there. If you had extra, you know, thread, hey, throw another lock nut yeah. on there. So, yeah. but Save yourself a headache later on. Yep, and again, you would rather run your oil, stock oil on here when you first get it, you know, one to two uh, gas cycles, just filling it back up. Um, I would check it after your second gas tank because with this cheap oil that comes with it, it's nice because all your metal shavings will be in that junk oil, but it burns really fast. So you don't want to be riding like another two tanks and blow your engine up. So you definitely want to... Uh, check it then after two but then i would change it if you have to add some add some but then change it after three but without further ado we're going to show you and actually show you what to do so let's show you <laughs> 